Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is Solo van Grenen, a.k.a. Mr. VG, and I am stoked. I'm excited to have you here with me. In this specific video, we are going to look at one of the most interesting concepts in mathematics called polynomials. Now, polynomials are multiple terms, but please, please, please go and watch the previous video about, you know, what is an algebraic expression and how to work with it before you continue with this video. Well, let's quickly look at your basics. Well, a polynomial is a special type of algebraic expression. In other words, it is something like x squared minus 3x minus 4, or plus 4, I mean. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm reading and x minus 2, and negative 5x cubed. All of these are polynomials. Now, what about if I give you 2 over x? Remember, 2 over x simply means 2 divided by x. Now, is this a polynomial? Well, it's an algebraic expression, yes. Because I could say 2 divided by some number. That's 2 over x. But actually, no, it's not. It, it's not a polynomial, even though it is an algebraic expression. Huh? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's push through. Let's persevere. What about 4x squared minus 2x minus 4x to the negative 2? Hmm... It's definitely an algebraic expression because it has x's and numbers in them. But it's not a polynomial because the exponent of x is actually negative 2. Hmm. Now we are maybe starting to see something that happens. What if I've got 5 plus 2 root x? Hmm, that is a weird looking expression. If I had to write this as an algebra sentence, how would it be? I would say, well, the square root, let me not say root, the square root of a number multiplied by 2 and... Add 5. That would be the full sentence that leads to this algebraic expression. Well, that is not a polynomial. Even though it is an algebraic expression, it's not a polynomial. Because it has a root x. Oh, and now I'm writing over that one there. Let me quickly go back. Let me erase so you can clearly see. The last expression as well. x to the power of 2 over 3 plus 4x to the negative 3. That's an algebraic expression. But it's not a polynomial because of those weird exponents. Mm, oh my goodness. So I'm kind of seeing something that happens. All the exponents must be whole numbers. Now, whom of you remember that whole numbers are the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. to infinity and beyond? Those are whole numbers. So whenever your exponent is like a 1, or a 1, or a 2, then, or a 3 like there, then it is a polynomial. But the moment that it isn't, it is not a polynomial. But it's easy to see. So the moment that I divide by x, or I've got an x to the negative 2, a root x, or an exponent with a fraction in it, 
Uh, it's not a polynomial. But how would they ask it in the exam? Well, they would first of all ask us to name a polynomial. Well, if I look at x squared minus 3x plus 4, instinctively, how, how many terms do you see? Well, how many terms do you see in the first one? The question is, how do I even know how, what are terms? Well, the important thing to remember is that multiple terms are separated by pluses and minuses or minuses. Let me rather use that terminology by pluses or minuses. So if I look at the first one, I've got a minus and a plus. Therefore, it is a three term. There are three terms and I call it like a tricycle, a trinomial. In the second one, there's a minus that separates the x and the 2. So therefore, there are two terms. It's called a binomial. Last and definitely not least, negative 5x to the 3. Well, that is a one term. But why, sir? Why? There's then a 5 and an x. Yes, but in between them, there's a times. There isn't a plus or a minus, so therefore it's a one term or a monomial. But then there are some weird ones. What about these ones? What do you say? Instinctively, you might go and look at the first one and say, hmm, there's a plus. So it must be a binomial, but wait, whoa, whoa, wait, I know, I don't know. Ah, so you're trying to confuse me. I know, that's the point, that's why I'm here to help you. Remember, you've got a bracket, and that bracket is times by 2x. The same thing with the second one. Your x squared minus 3x plus 4 is in a bracket, and that's divided by 4. So in other words, I've got a bracket and divided by a, a number. Therefore, both of them are monomials. Because there's no, there isn't a plus or a minus that separates the different parts of your expression. There's a times and a divide. So it's a monomial. Oh my goodness. But now, and I want to please warn you, if there was an X in that denominator, please, 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 then you cannot say that it is a polynomial because then it is not a polynomial. It's not a monomial at all, even though it is an algebraic expression. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm having so much fun explaining this to you. I hope it makes sense. In our next video, we are going to look at how will they ask it in the exam. At a lack of exam type question, where we look at different parts and different types of questions they can ask you about expressions and polynomials. So this is Sardo van Grenen, a.k.a. Mr. VG, signing out. Please tune in to our next video where we're going to look at a bit of examples of how they could ask different terms, polynomials in a exam. Have a beautiful evening and please keep warm and keep yourself safe. Keep well. Cheers.